William Connolly owned 5% nearly of Ireland at the time. He he was a real estate, he, he became uh, the Speaker of Congress of the House of Commons in Ireland, a very wealthy man. Um, his house, uh, he never had any children, so his, his property and things went to his, uh, his nephew. So there was a society in, our, in England at the time called the, the Help Our Club. The Help Our Club were a society of really high and gentry young men. It was a men's club and it was really a place where the, uh, for debauchery and wild orgies and, um, and <laughs> well, heavy drinking, <laughs> <laughs> heavy drinking and the occult and witchcraft. Uh, they were heavily into occult and it spread from England and then the first Hellfire Club in Ireland was here. I already had their meetings here, but they had their meetings or places but they like to have their meetings here in this hunting lodge of William Connolly because it was so isolated. So they, it says at their after meetings they would drink this drink called a Skaltiel. Skaltiel is whiskey and hot butter. And they would have 12 portions of this before any proceedings would take place. So they were already hallucinating. And then they would always leave a seat vacant for the devil. So they'd leave a, an empty chair at the table for the devil. They were in the cult. They would have they would have sacrifices and everything else. So some of the stories that come from this would be the sacrifice of a black cat. The black cat was sacrificed, and then the the house beside behind myself is supposed to be ghosted or haunted by a black cat. And the same with the steward's house, which is just down below us, which is part of the Kilikey estate. Um, and another occasion, as the story goes, that while we were in playing cards one night on a wet stormy night, the stranger came up to the door and knocked. And he came in, he asked could he join him playing cards, so he let him in, he was playing cards. And then during the proceeding night, one of the, one of the members, they dropped their card before, went down to pick it up, and he noticed that the stranger had hooves for feet. Okay, so then he vanished in a puff of smoke. <laughs> so, there's a lot of these stories of, 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 um, of their parties and wild things, and, and probably some of the most famous members would be a man known as Buck Whaley. Buck Whaley was a notorious uh, gambler, heavy drinker. There was also the first, uh, the first club that was set up here as well was by a man called Richard Parsons. Richard Parsons was the Earl of Ross, who was the Grand Master of the Freemasons at the time in Ireland as well. So there's a lot of this occult and everything associated with this building, and from that a lot of the ghost stories appear from there. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one now, please. But there is this situation where one night while they were having another party, down below us in this building is the kitchen section. So there would have been steps going up to the front door on the other side. Then you'd have two rooms upstairs, would have been sleeping for accommodation, and here would have been the, basically the dining room or parlour. So a servant, when he came up one time, spilt brandy, brandy on one of the members of the club. So the member of the club is supposedly have doused him in the rest of the brandy and set him alight. And that's how they think the actual club eventually was born to the ground. There's also talk of the sacrifice of a dwarf. They sacrificed the dwarf. And when they were uh, redoing the Killikay steward's house, um, the plumbers down there, the work tradesmen on the house, refused to carry out any more work because they said they were so terrified of the noises coming from within the building. So between this building here and the Killikay house, it's supposed to be two of the most haunted parts of Ireland. Great place to bring your kids. Yeah. <laughs>